Hey there, I'm Amelia, or maybe Amelia, and I'm here right now making this video just to let you know who the heck am I. I am new to the tube. I had been doing these vlog things on Facebook for a while, but not that many of my friends watch them, and Facebook isn't really the best place to be promoting that sort of thing. Facebook is for connecting with people, and me being like, watch my video is getting in the way of people connecting. I have a bunch of friends who I just recently realized are all doing this YouTube thing, and so I thought I might try it out. Kind of a copycat, but not really. I don't know, just trying it out. Now is where you get to know me. First thing is the name. It was really late at night, and I thought, I'm going to make a YouTube channel, and this is going to be awesome. So I had a YouTube account, but I had a really lame name, so I was like, hey, I'm going to get a new name. And um, my first name is Amelia, and my middle name is May. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just do Amelia May. But YouTube has so many people on it, but Amelia May was taken. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do Amelia Maybe. That sounds like a good idea. But that was already taken, so I thought, oh, what if I do Maybe Amelia? That makes sense. The reason why I'm telling you this story is because as soon as I make my account, I start subscribing to all of my friends, like, YouTube channels, and I realized that my friend Sheldon, his is called Maybe Light Blue. And his favorite color is light blue, so it's sort of like Maybe Sheldon. And I felt really bad because I was like, Sheldon's gonna think that I'm copying his name, and that is so lame of me, but it was so late at night, and I'd already uploaded a video to it and subscribed to all these things, that I really didn't feel like changing my name. So it's just gonna be a funny story, and Sheldon's gonna tell everybody that I copied him, and I'm gonna be okay with that. Number two, a little bit about myself. Um, I graduated from high school last year. I've been working all year as a barista. I also really love theater, and I'm planning to go to theater school next year. I've already auditioned for the National Theater School of Canada, and I'll be auditioning for um, Studio 58. I'm currently taking singing slash piano lessons, and they're going really well. I've just started painting again. Um, I'm also into drawing. I prefer to use these things for drawing. Uh, that you dip in ink, super old school. I've also recently started flying kites on a semi-regular basis, and I think it's a really good thing to get into, and I'm hoping to pursue it. Number three. Movies, books, and TV. These are all the sort of things I've been into, and I've started to realize that a lot of them are connected. I'm gonna start off with two movies that I can't really connect into anything. I'm sure I could if I tried, but Curious George. Jack Johnson does the majority of the music. Almost famous. If you have not seen this movie, you should be ashamed, and you need to go see this movie. Now is where I start to get into all the tricky connected stuff. The White Stripes are probably my favorite musicians. I started listening to them when I was 12. I didn't really care about music when I was 12. I heard their single, Seven Nation Army, and I was like, this is amazing. So I bought the album, and I started listening to it, and it, it just completely changed everything I felt about music. So, White Stripes, Under Great White Northern Lights, it's a semi-documentary about their one and only tour of Canada. They played every province and every territory. They did go to Yellowknife. One shot, Meg, in this guy's truck. Who's this guy? Alex Debogorski. He's the star of show Ice Road Truckers. He's my second cousin. A guy who directed three of their music videos. His name's Michelle Gondry. He directed the music video for Hardest Button to Button, Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground, and Fell in Love with the Girl. Michelle Gondry also directed Be Kind Rewind. He also directed a movie called The Science of Sleep. It's like half in French, half in English, and I absolutely love French, if you know anything about me. So, French. That leads into Paris Je Thème. It is a series of short films, all from different directors, and they all take place in Paris. One of the short films is by the Coen brothers, and it stars Steve Buscemi? Buscemi? I don't know how it's said. Anyways, Coen brothers and Steve are in The Big Lebowski. So Big Lebowski. Back to Paris Je Thème. Back to France. Talk about Michelle Gondry and The Science of Sleep. Michel Gondry's probably famous movie that he's done is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. There's a song on the score by the Polyphonic Spree, another one of my favorite musicians. 
St. Vincent, she was in the polyphonic spree. So, she, in polyphonic spree, did a song on Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Eternal Sunshine brings us back to Synecdoche, New York. Um, the guy who wrote Eternal Sunshine, Charlie Kaufman, he also wrote and directed this movie, Synecdoche, New York. So that stack of connections is over, and this is the next stack. Okay, one of my favorite musicians, Coconut Records. It is Jason Schwartzman's one-man band. This is his first album, Night Timing. Jason Schwartzman is also an actor. He stars in the new HBO series, Born to Death. He also wrote the theme song for it. Also acts in a lot of Wes Anderson movies. This is one of them, The Darjeeling Limited. It's got, there's Jason Schwartzman, Owen Wilson, and Adrian Brody. Okay, Adrian Brody is another one of my favorite actors. He also acted in The Brothers Bloom. Okay, Adrian Brody, back to Darjeeling Limited, back to Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson also directed another movie with Owen Wilson in it. It's called The Life Aquatic. In that movie, there's these random little stop frame bits with, like, seahorses and stuff. And those stop frame bits were directed by Henry Selleck. Henry Selleck also directed The Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas was also written by Tim Burton. Tim Burton directed The Corpse Bride. And Danny Elfman did the score for both of these shows. He also wrote the theme song for one of my favorite TV shows, The Simpsons. So, Simpsons, Danny Elfman. Back to these. Tim Burton also directed um, a version of Planet of the Apes. I personally love the original. Here it is, Planet of the Apes. Back to Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton wrote Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas was directed by Henry Selleck. Henry Selleck also directed Coraline. I cannot express to you how much I love this movie. The stop frame is absolutely seamless. It is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love the score. The book Coraline that this movie is based on was written by Neil Gaiman. He is one of my favorite authors. One of my other favorite authors is Douglas Adams, who wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Here's the movie of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Sam Rockwell plays Zaphod Beeblebrox. Sam Rockwell also stars in this movie Moon came out last year, I think. Back to the books. My other favorite book is A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. Don't ask me if I like the movie, because I'll go on a big rant. I am just getting over a cold, and talking about all of this has made me lose my voice. But I hope that you now know who I am, and we can be best friends, and I'll put some more videos up sometime, and it'll be great. Thanks for tuning in. I gotta put all of my stuff back on my shelf. You have a nice day.